Hey everybody, my name is Kutel and welcome back for another video of Still Rising. We're going to continue this series, boys. i um, having a lot of fun playing this game for you guys. I don't know what uh, just happened there. Game, uh, ca the camera went all over the place a little bit. So you're, you basi we basically have two different missions, I believe, right now. Uh, let me just take a look at the journal. So we got the main one, which is the Recluse of the Abyss. And then we got a couple of side quests here and there that we got to complete, so... Let's head back. Uh, we basically gotta head back to our chariot or something, boys. In order for us to basically travel to another area, I believe. Let me check. Okay, no. So we do have... Question people at the Covenant. Decipher the notes. Oh, okay. Actually, I do need to head back in there then. Uh, to do the, uh, the actual side quest and all. It looks like well, that's what I gotta do. Alright, so I gotta actually question the people and I also gotta decipher the notes. So let's talk it out with uh, Jean Sylvain uh, ba Bailey, boys, and see if he can deci Monsieur decipher the notes for oh, me. Mademoiselle, I am very pleased to find you here with us within the shelter of these walls. Uh, I found some notes, my, uh, my guy. I found a document written in a script that I was unable to read. Let me see. Ah. Je vois. These pages were written using some sort of shorthand. A variation on Taylor's system, no doubt. I want to use it myself from time to time while jotting down my ideas as they come. What does it say? Hmm. It's a bit difficult to decipher. Je crois. I believe it's an autopsy report. The author writes that the subject died from a large dose of prussic acid. What is prussic acid? My apologies, Aegis, but I'm no chemist. You should ask Monsieur Lavoisier. All right. Well, we—it's a beginning at least. Uh, what about uh, Franciscus Antonius? Do you know anything about him? Does the name Franciscus Antonius mean anything to you? <laughs> we scholars have the strange habit of adopting names from antiquity. I imagine that we're actually looking for someone named Francois Antoine. But no matter how hard I think, I'm afraid it doesn't ring a bell. All right, unfortunately, he doesn't know anything about that. Uh, we'll continue to look. Aegis, Who's the Super one day. that uh, is going to allow me to basically do my stuff? Okay, so I can't. I only have to talk to the people at the convent now in order for me to figure out about this uh, Francois Antoine thing. Uh, the other thing, like about the acid stuff, I think I got to move out in a different area. Uh, maybe I'm gonna talk to every single one of them at a time. Monsieur Raymond. Maybe Aegis. they're all somewhat bound to know you. who that uh, that Aegis guy is. To leave the Societe without such a capable bodyguard as yourself, it is a miracle that we got here safely. Okay, I need to know about this guy right here. I found a cane inscribed with the name Franciscus Antonius. Does that mean anything to you? No, I'm sorry. Okay, well, waste of time. What about the Lafayre boys? Literally gonna talk. The last guy I'm gonna talk to, I guarantee I you, is gonna be the one who knows something soon, about him. We miss you when we had to leave our shelter at Plaza. The path that. All right, I don't. I don't care about that. I just want to know about the guy. Antonius mean anything to you? Hmm. The the Franciscan order, perhaps. Go on. Franciscus Assisiensis, the founder of the order, and uh, Antonius Patavinus. One of its most illustrious members. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Aegis, but that's all I can think of. Well, it's a beginning. It's definitely a beginning. I'm guessing we're gonna have to Aegis, talk it out with more people, I'd like even. To talk to you about my research. Do you have a few moments to? Certainly, mon père. I am listening. What does I he want? I collected the testimony of our companions here. Then I compared them with the observations made during my investigation of the man who calls himself Cagliostro. I came to quite the shocking conclusion. I think, I believe, I have discovered how the royal automats remain constantly in motion, like clocks that never need winding. They get their energy from the souls of the dead ages. How did you figure they that one out, my guy? I mean, that was not the, that's really what I'm doing as well. De la These machines feed on the dead. The greater the massacre, the deeper the river where they slake their thirst. 
Okay, well, uh, what about uh, this guy, though? Do you know anything? Franciscus Antonius. Does that mean anything to you? Let's see. Francois Antoine. No, that doesn't mean anything to me, I'm afraid. Désolé, ma chère. Are you shitting me? Goodbye. All of that for that. The only one who knew something right now was... Uh, was the, the father or something. Ages. Not the father, the but the, uh, the Monseigneur boys. Someone's gotta know something. Honestly, man, what the hell? Monsieur le Marquis. I'm listening. Franciscus Antonius. Do these names mean anything specific to you? Francois Antoine. Hold on. Of course. That's the Master Arcbusier who killed the Beast of Gévaudan. The affair took place during the reign of Louis the Beloved. Just a few leagues from the castle where I grew up. I was still a young boy, but I remember it like it was yesterday. It caused a stir all over the country. I doubt that it has anything to do with my case. I don't know. I'll let you be the judge of that. Okay. Does that do anything for me? I mean, I still gotta talk to them. I imagine I just gotta talk to all of them. We've got two clues so far about this guy. So, let's see really quick about Miribo. Maybe he knows uh, another thing, I guess. I found a broken cane. It says Franciscus Antonius on it. Do you know who it belongs to? Well, I never. Yes, I know the owner. You do? And I'm willing to bet you're looking for a certain Francois Antoine. Yeah, that's everybody. Uh, that's that's right. what everybody well, says. Well, you need to look a little further east, mademoiselle. Across the Rhine for a start. Well, he's in Germany? Because this cane belongs, in Prussia at, the, uh, at this point, boys. To a certain Franz Anton Mesmer. Mesmer, the Prince of Charlatans. It's been a long time since I've heard his name. Five years, to be exact, since your learned commission denounced his theories. It wasn't long after that when he disappeared. Can you tell me more about Mesmer? He was a mystical healer who was once popular with the upper class. I myself attended several of his sessions. Interesting. So we're looking for Mesmer boys himself. Uh, what about... I guess I, I'm going to have to talk with about all of those, so let's start with the Learn Commission. You mentioned a commission. The king did not look kindly on the healer's popularity within the court. This led him to appoint a commission from the Royal Academy of Sciences, an institution to which Monsieur Lavoisier and I have the honor to belong. We were asked to investigate his alleged powers. The experiments that we performed allowed us to determine that Monsieur Mesmer's activities were pure charlatanism, a conclusion that destroyed his successful career the moment it was published. You dismiss Monsieur Lavoisier's remarks rather hastily. He doesn't shout it from the rooftops, but in his opinion, there was still... something. A tiny flow of energy that his devices were able to measure. However, his observations could never be reproduced. It was obviously a momentary failure of his equipment, though he stubbornly refuses to believe it. Interesting, boys. When and how did Monsieur Mesmer disappear? The denunciation of his techniques was the start of a long descent into hell for Monsieur Mesmer. He was abandoned by his clients and resumed his research in virtual secrecy. I think he was hoping to perfect his so-called science and restore his reputation with the Academy. A hope that led him to associate himself with that dastardly Cagliostro. God only knows what experiments they may have carried out. In any case, their collaboration did not last long. Monsieur Mesmer left the kingdom overnight to return to his mother country. Why did he leave so quickly? That is a mystery. But those who saw him that morning say it was as if he had the devil at his heels. He left in such a hurry that he abandoned everything he owned. Furniture, belongings, and scientific equipment. And it seems that Cagliostro has inherited this treasure. Is that so? Well, if what you say is true, that broken cane must have passed into the Count's hands. Yes. It's likely. This adventurer from who knows where is quite the mysterious character. And he has been very busy recently. I've been able to observe him from my apartments, making frequent visits to Rue Saint-Honoré on the Tuileries side. I wonder what he was doing there. So he keeps uh, going, that guy keeps going back and forth to count that is. That had the cane and everything. Uh, well... 
What about the theories? I guess we got really le like legit talk about all of the those. It's gonna take a while. It's a really long start of a video, boys. It's all dialogue and no action. Theories. Sorry about that, he boys. Didn't an know it was gonna happen like he that. Animal magnetism. He claimed to be able to channel a purported universal healing fluid by passing his hands over patients and using magnets. He also cobbled together a whole array of mad devices, each stranger than the last. Unfortunately, despite all his attempts, I don't know that he ever cured anyone. What happened during Monsieur Mesmer's treatment sessions? Oh, they were quite a spectacle to behold. Imagine well-born ladies afflicted with perfectly imaginary illnesses. A dimly lit room where incense has been burned to intoxicate the soul and cloud your vision. Amiable servants, half-dressed, gliding from countess to duchess to the sound of a sensual melody. And the great Mesmer, a doctor with wandering hands, presiding over the wonderful scene. Oh, you should have seen them. Those grand ladies moaning, crying, and falling into a swoon, clinging to that strange tub. Du théâtre, ma chère. Pure theater. That was for me like uh, something else. I'm not gonna say the word, but uh, sounds to me like uh, these ladies were having a lot Aegis. of fun, but uh, the for the wrong Super reason, big. my guy. All right, well. Let's uh, let's go back outside now. I think we actually talked it out with everyone. We've got our clues. Yep, yeah, there we go. So now we can head back finally to our chariot or whatever it is uh, it's called, and we can finally, or it's the carriage, right? Yeah, it's a carriage. So we can finally head back here and travel towards the other locations. So. Montmartre is the one that we gotta go to for the main mission. Uh, is there any other things that we gotta do? This doesn't seem like it. Uh, I don't have the side quest and all. It don't seem to be anywhere. Let me see really quick. Is there a correspondence or something I gotta read? No, not at all. Interesting. I'm kind of, uh, now I'm kind of intrigued, boys, because there doesn't seem to be any side quest available anywhere. So it looks like this might be the only area we need to go at all right so we're here and the fact that we don't have any side quests let me check really quick i mean we still have those but they haven't really amount to do anything so that's interesting if i press those yeah oh no so there is literally no side quest available right now that is very interesting boy so we're all up on the, the main quest right now very interesting Let's find out how do we get in there? I, I mean, I can jump, right? Yeah, I can jump from roof to roof. I don't think I was supposed to do that, but... Sure, I guess it works, boys, right? All right, let me uh, just kill these really quick. There we go, boys. I forgot I had this brand new weapon, like the swords and whatnot. I forgot I had that. Let's go, boys. I'm so fast with the swords. It's so good, boys. Really fast with the sword. I like it so much. Really good weapon right now. I love it, boys. Let's go. We're doing our assault. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. Some bronze ink and cast iron. We're getting a lot of those recently. Uh, and it's really good for us, boys. Re really, really good. Now, I gotta get uh, to that side. How do I do that? I'm gonna have to jump. Okay, yeah, I already see it. I already said they want me to jump boys so I'm gonna do that get a bunch of stuff bismuth block Ooh, nice I got a bismuth block boys as soon as I get to Vestal I'm gonna be able to uh, upgrade maybe uh, a weapon or something boys that would be great unless I need a second one which I probably do I'm not too sure boys I do I did get a grade 3 flame module which is fantastic Oh, come on, man. I can't jump that far. Come on. You know, I know it's exactly what they want me to do right now. They want me to jump that. They want me to jump there, so. Not too sure. There's got to be a way for me to. There we go. Come on, man. How do you eat? I'm so terrible at these jumps, boys. I swear. Holy. There we go. I got it, boys. I finally made it to the other side. Damn. 
took me a little bit of a while uh, to actually make it, boys. I don't know why I couldn't do it. But now I made it, boys. So that's the important part. Let's go kill these uh, these little soldiers real quick. Uh, like I said, uh, I got business blocks now. So as soon as I get my hands on... Uh, what you call it? As soon as I get my hands on a vessel, I'm going to be able to probably upgrade one of my weapons, which is going to be great. The one I have, at least. Like the one with the sword and all. That would be great to do. All right, let's go, boys. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to transition because my dog is uh, doing his thing, boys. I don't want him to be in the video too much, so hold on. All right, I think we're good, boys. I think uh, we're good with my dog and the action itself. I did, did the, uh, go ahead and uh, destroy all these little robots. The this quarry. I will have to use this mobile walkway. Mobile quarry? What do you mean? I gotta go up? Can I get in there? Okay. Can I open this? This is blocked, so can I open this? I can't. So I do have to somehow get upstairs or something go up how am i gonna do that out oh, there i see it okay so i see a way for me to jump uh further so we gotta jump up boys all right let's do that oh that was uh, almost bad boys i almost messed that up there's something over there i don't think that's what i'm supposed to do i'm just i think i'm just supposed to jump okay i messed that one up boys Oh, oh, there, there we go. Okay, good. At least I can come back here, boys. Oh, there we go. Just like that. Make sure to jump like this, boys. It's kind of dangerous right here. I'm kind of scared to uh, mess it up every time. Are right, we in? This mobile walkway leads to the depths of the quarry. I will explore the area and try to find a way to make it work. Let's see really quick. I'm supposed to go just here, basically. And I do see it. I see the Vestal, boys. Fantastic. There it is. Exactly what I wanted. Let's go ahead and activate it. We don't have a lot of anima, which I'm, it means I'm probably not going to be able to upgrade my character by itself. But the weapons, I can probably upgrade those, no problem. So, uh, let me see. So, yeah, I can upgrade both. I got both now. They're both level 4. Fire and Ice is probably the one I should upgrade uh, just because it's the one that does the less amount of damage. I'm really comfortable with it right now. Uh, I want to upgrade this one. There I go. Let's upgrade Fire and Ice. It's at max level now, level 5. It does 80 of damage. It does 80 of damage, boys. So that's about the max it's going to do. What about... Uh, I only have... Well, I have 38k. I don't, I don't know if I can sell anything right now per se. I can sell some of those uh, things, I guess. Uh, carriage token, I'm going to keep those, obviously. What about the other stuff? Do I have anything at all? Yes, I do have those. Those armor thingies that are not good for me. We're doing really good, boys. Really, really good. Let's keep it going really quick. I do have some stuff right here. Get everything we can. Some petrification grenades. Can I get... It's blocked. Oh, this area is blocked as well. And, alright, well, how do I get to there then? What if I go on the other side? There's probably another way uh, another way in. This is blocked as well. Everything's blocked, so nothing's working because the power is out. I gotta get the power on uh, or something, boys, in order for it to work. So, let's get the power on uh, as soon as we can, I guess. Look how much damage I'm doing now compared to the previous time. That's really good, so... Yeah, I think I'm just supposed to go up or something, boys. Let's kill these uh, little spider thingies. Whatever. New types of enemies as well. I didn't see those before. I got jumped. Great. A lot of these enemies, like these ones in particular, remind me a lot of like mini bosses or like just AI bots that you have to fight uh, in uh, Force Unleash, if you remember it. Raxus Prime, boys. I remember that. They look a lot like those. I don't think they uh, they meant to look like them, but they just do. So that's really interesting. Do I need to go here? Probably, right? I imagine so because it's the only other place that uh, I would think I would need to go, boys. So let me just get everything they're dropping. Let's go. Kill them off, boys. There I go. Am I doing some stunt? Uh, stun damage as well at the same time which is even better got a lot of frost grenade all that stuff oh yeah 
this is where we needed to go, boys. All this time. There we go. So I'm talking about right here. We got some uh, extra enemies here and there. Let's get these guys real quick. Come on, come on. There we go. That's what I'm talking about right here. Ooh, watch out now. Get this guy. Oh, okay. He's a special dude. Uh, obviously, he does some electricity damage. Uh, to finish this off, I might want to use some grenades. So, let's use some explosive grenades. There we go. It's some improved ones as well. So, there's even more damage. There we go. Nice. So that stun damage is something else, boys. It's really, really good. Love it, boys. All right. Let's get to the stairs right here. I'm supposed to... Just want to look around to see if I got any loot. I don't. Supposed to go through here. Pretty sure. Yeah, we're getting closer now. We're getting closer. I just need to get to this side. So maybe if I get to here. And I jump... Uh, not jump, but... Unlock this gate right here? I can't, okay. Is there uh, any ladder right here? What's the point of being here exactly? Hmm, that I don't know. I don't know what's the point of being there exactly. Let me just uh, jump right here. Let me see. So if we jump right over here. What's the point of being here then? Yeah, I, I don't know what's the point of being there, boys. I see the big castle over there. Uh... I went from this direction, sure, but there's nothing like why would I go here? I mean, I, I'm gonna drop down. Maybe there is. Oh, there's an entry point from the uh, from the bottom. Okay, I was about to say there's an entry point to the bottom. Now it makes sense, you know. Let's go. There we go. Stun him up, boys. And now we're gonna be able to defeat him quite easily. He's uh, he defeating these enemies too quick. There we go, boys. Yeah, these enemies are pretty easy to defeat. It was a kind of a slow start at first. But now we're starting to actually get some action going right here. Which is absolutely great. Exactly what we uh, we needed, boys. Let me see real quick. Is that... There we go. Activate this. So everybody, everything else is going to work. Find Monsieur Marat is the new thing. So let's find him, I guess. Everything else is unlocked now, so we're good to go, boys. Let's get out of there really quick. Got a couple of uh, those things really quick. Some bronze ingot. Extra bronze ingot and all that good stuff. Cast iron and all, the, the, all of that, boys. Pretty good. Where's Monsieur Marat at, boys? At the bottom? Oh, okay, so we can use the elevator now. Good. Let's do it. Let's go down. Taking the elevator, boys. Royal Gypsum Quarry. I really do hope you guys are enjoying this series. Uh, I did... Uh, I, I do... Uh, I do appreciate it quite a lot, boys. Gonna lock this gate right here. Now, there is another path. This is where I'm supposed to go at. But there's an enemy through here. This is where I was at uh, before. So I don't want to fight them for no reason. Let me drop down, boys. This is where I need to go anyways. This is where I need to be at, boys. Let me just kill this uh, one enemy real right quick. There we go. Just like that. Get uh, all everything I can get. This one enemy is going to start attacking me. Alright. No problem, my guy. Get stunned. Get stunned all day. Right, he's the feed, boys. We've got some extra bronze and get bronze and get and cast iron. At some point was a problem for me to get. Not anymore. I'm getting them, them every... Uh, Every few often, every so often uh, against enemies. I'm really getting them often, boys, so. I got a lot of stuff. I even got uh, another Vestal right here. I do have 60k. Which could be uh, enough for me to upgrade myself. I kind of an intrigue. Let me uh, go in, boys. Every time I see Vestal, I need to check up if I can upgrade myself. Uh, obviously, I don't have the module keys or anything, but... Uh, is there anything I can buy? Nothing interesting that I can buy. Alright, well, I sold a couple of stuff, but nothing uh, crazy, boys. Uh, is there any actual equipment that is better than what I had? Don't think so. This is a heavy weapon. Uh, all the other weapons, they're pretty garbage. Yeah, overall, they're not really worth anything, boys. Yes, yeah, so we're good. We have all the best weaponry available to us. So, 
All we need to do is upgrade ourselves, which in that case uh, would mean uh, being at 18, uh, yeah, 18, right here, 18 of power. The rest is going to be 9 for these three afterwards, and then uh, we're going to keep those at 4, I guess, so we're good to go. I only have 9k left now. Let's go towards this area, I guess. We're going to move up from the other side right here. We're going to kill that, uh, that enemy real quick. Let's kill, uh, kill that little boss. They're, uh, we, they have a lot more health, a lot more often right now, boys. A little bit more resistance, more, uh, resistant, uh, resistant more and more. Which is fine, uh, I guess for a bit more of a challenge overall, but I still like my weapons are maxed, uh, maxed out right now, so. I'm good, boys. I'm not, like, in any danger whatsoever right now. I can easily defeat them. No problem right here. There we go. He did manage to touch me a little bit. Which is not that great. Where, is, where am I going at? I need to go upstairs. I need to find my way up right here. Which is exactly this way. Let's go, boys. We gotta move. Got stuck in the rock for some reason right here. In a second. Let's go. Kill him off. And... There we go. He's dead. Easy enough, boys. Like I said. There is uh, an entry pathway through there. I gotta go through this cave right here. Let's go move. Uh, let's move, boys. Uh, do I need to go up? I cannot. I gotta find my way around, boys, which is fine. Kill these uh, enemies real quick. Get these guys. There we go, boys. Easy enough. Easy enough to feed these enemies. Easiest thing to do right here. Got already 40k of anima, boys. Anima's going fast uh, with my mods and whatnot. Okay, let's jump in the hole, boys. All right, here we go. We can always go back up as well with the grappling hook. He's really deep down uh, in there. Uh, it's going to take a while for us to actually get to him. Uh, there's a path towards to the pathway to where it's there, but that's a door that's locked, basically, so... We're gonna have to keep attacking the, uh, this, uh, the, his little, uh, uh, soldiers and whatnot. Which is fine, boys. Get the, uh, these so-called dogs and stuff. Get this one right here. Come on, gotta get him. Gotta kill that dog really quick, boys. Alright, there we go. Give me all that anima. Gotta keep moving. Uh, I think we might get closer, right? We might be getting closer or not. I'm not too sure. It's telling me to go towards this direction. Alright then. I'll go towards the right, boys. If it's telling me to go there, I'll go there. The high beam. Let me find out. Uh, it's all the way at the top. Okay, I gotta go. Oh, okay. I, I see it. I see it. So I gotta go at the bottom right here. You jump, jump on this. And there I jump on the on the top right here all right there we go we got to go across probably in order to for us to actually get what we want boys there's a lot of enemies we're gonna have to we have to fight right now it's a lot of xp that i'm getting well not xp per se but anima getting a lot of points boys whoa oh i just died right there that's great that was stupid all right we're back here again boys let's try this again and this run uh, this time around let's not miss Let's not mess it up, right? Very important to not mess it up because I have to go back and I have to kill these enemies again, all of them. Well, I don't necessarily have to kill them. I can get past them and not get any anima, but much, uh, much more would prefer to get the anima and try and fight them in the same time, you know? That would be the way to go about it. I believe I gotta jump and make it through there, so that's the part that's really difficult right here and that's the thing though it's oh i made it well, i made it to this side at least okay so we're good we're good we're safe at least i make it i made it to the bottom boys so at least i like i'm not i didn't die by jumping to uh falling down that that big pit so we're good now at least so, yeah that's the important part because the last time i actually fell all the way out so now we're safe at least a little bit more Let's kill this fool real quick, boys. I'm gonna have to start using a lot more grenades if I want to finish off these enemies a lot quicker. 
The, uh, the explosive grenades, though, don't seem to be doing a lot of damage, even if they're improved. Which is kind of curious to me a little bit, boys. Let's find out. Where is... Oh, there's a lot of enemies right here. I was trying to... To use a compass, but I forgot I had the grenades equipped, which is great. Alright, we gotta kill these enemies real quick. These are big enemies right here, boys. Let's go. We got one of them right here. We're about to have another one. There we go. Okay, what am I doing? I'm I'm taking a pose, boys. I'm posing for the video, I guess. Oh shit. Let's do that. There we go. Keep attacking him. No, you don't. Woo! Let's go. We're gonna get that big, uh, the, that big guy. All right, he's dead. He's dead. We got him, boys. That was a lot right there. I need to do some, a couple of, equip some couple of uh, ordinary vials and whatnot. I need to go up somehow. So how am I gonna do that? I am not too sure. Ooh, I, I believe. Oh, I can go there. Wait, I need to go there anyways. Yeah. Let's jump over there, boys. There it is. So I just need to get to these caves. Alright, uh, there seems to be a lot of stuff going on. There seems to be a long ways ahead to go to that place. So I'm gonna end the video right here. See you guys for the next one. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you didn't enjoy this video. Keep it easy, boys.